watching this special on my nephew Nas. Nas is a leader, you know what I'm saying? And, and the stuff he's saying is real. Of course Nas is a lyrical legend. You're gonna be the best, I'ma tell you how. You can say things with double and triple meaning. You, 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 you a slave to a page in my rhyme book. And everyone can take away from it what they want. I don't that be selling Attica, send them to Africa. First uh, experience hearing about Nas was everyone's playing his tape and talking about this album. It's like that. You know what's like that. I got it him. Now you never get the mic back. It was Illmatic. And just the buzz that it created at that time, uh, I hadn't seen a buzz like that. One of the greatest compliments you could ever get as a rapper is to be compared to Biggie, Jay-Z, or Nas. And of course, N-A-S are the letters that spell Nas, and I'm that... I was in love with hip hop when I realized I didn't want to be a police officer. When I knew I didn't want the fireman dreams when they when they were over, and when I knew like I couldn't sing, you know what I'm saying? Because my pops was a jazz musician, so you know my pop my pops would tell me like he would come from Paris with all this money in his pocket, and I said, "Who paid you?" He said, "I paid me." I said, "How?" And he just broke it down for me the whole music gig. That's, that's the best gig going. Let's go. Of course, I didn't think it'd be it'd come true because all the rappers were grown men. I was a kid, you know what I'm saying? So I just kept at it. You know, I just thought that I could rap and I wanted to hear myself to an album. Like, even if it was on, like, some low-budget label, you know what I'm saying? It would have got me off the block. It would have got me off the block or whatever. But that's, that's just wanted to have my record come out. It ain't hard to tell. And when it came, I had no idea that it would hit like it hit. I did and I did. I knew to myself that nobody could, to, could mess with me. But still, you have a whole world out there. So when it dropped, I was like, I had no idea everybody else would agree. What's up, PT? One mic, um, um, I was in L.A. for a long time, living over out there by the water, just trying to get away. All I need is one mic, one beat, one page, one person. I had heard uh, a story about the song Air Tonight by Phil Collins. Uh, it, it just filled me up with that energy every time I heard it at night, driving. So I wanted to, to do a song like it, so I just got... Uh, some musicians like Chucky Thompson, who was like one of the best musicians out there. I wanted to make a sound that was like Air Tonight, but my own thing. Forgive me for one sin. Matter of fact, maybe more than one. Look back at all the hatred against me. Touch all of them. Jesus died at age 33. It's 33 shots when twin glocks is 16 apiece. That's 32, which means one of my was holding 17. 27 hit your crew. Six went to you. Everybody gotta die sometime. Hope your funeral never gets shot up. Pain to go through the innocent. Nothing is fair. My heart is racing. Take some revenge in the air. Let it all slide for too many years. Too many now I'm strapped with a couple of men. Too many nines. If y'all really think I'm ready to get busy, let up the cement. You want to just hold this flow to clip until you empty. There's nothing in our way. They rush, we rush. They bust, we rush. Let's fly and feel it. I feel it in my gut. Now we take it through to lie it down. Stronger now, my people. Oh, oh, now. One, one, one finger in the air. Put your one, one finger yeah. in the air. 
L.E.S. Is, is the homie, you know, from around the way. He's been on my album since day one, my first album. Been DJing for me day one. The song I produced for my man Wildfire, Black Republican. I had gave Nas a track. He liked the beat because he knew what the sample was from. He wrote a verse to it one night. And he called me up, he's like, yo, come through. So I came to the studio, played the joint. And I'm sitting there listening. And the first thing I heard was, I know you feel the magic. And that was Jay-Z's voice. I'm looking, I got my face, I'm like, huh? I'm like, he looked at me like, yeah, it's Jay on the track. Like, I was like, ah, oh, that's crazy. I feel like a black public money I got coming in. If I ever had an opportunity to have Nas with me at a show, we got to do it if I rule the world. That's one of my favorites. Ooh, ooh, that's hard. It go live. I wonder, want to take us under. After my first album, Illmatic, I just saw so many people in rap doing the same thing, following the same map quest, and, and headed to the same direction where I was at, where, you know, every time I turned the radio, there was something like, that sounded like me and it scared me, so um, I wanted to do what I knew people wouldn't expect. I needed something that was sound and bigger, so I got with Trackmasters, and they gave me that Houdini Friends track, which was always going to be one of the craziest drum loops in rap. Once I had that, I just went there and I knew I could speak on it about what my peers wasn't speaking on. Clef and Prize, friends of mine. So Lauren was just down to get in the studio and knock this record out. And I knew the hook already, so I knew what I wanted her to sing. Just told her Lauren just killed it. Yeah, y'all, what's good, man? It's your boy Bow Wow, you know what I'm saying? I want to welcome everybody to my official BT DVD. Get Mr. 106 in Park's new CD, The Price of Fame, featuring his number one smash, Shorty Like Mine with Chris Brown. Plus, bonus DVD back with BET highlights and five music videos. Let's roll. Brought to you by BET. Only at Walmart stores now. If it ain't BET, it ain't official. Expect more from a value meal. $2.99. Get Wendy's new crispy chicken deluxe with all white meat or the double junior cheeseburger deluxe with fries and a drink for just $2.99 every day. Do what tastes right. Over the holidays, 
you have probably handed one or more gift cards. Now is the time to grab that card, go into Sears, and actually find something you want. Redeem yourself. Use your Sears gift card online or in-store now to get the stuff you need at the prices you'll love. Sears. Stop paying too much for phone service. Switch to Vonage and you'll save up to 50% on your phone bill. You'll get unlimited local and long distance. Voicemail, caller ID, call waiting. All for just $24.99 a month. Plus one month free. Vonage, leading the internet phone revolution. On January 5th, there's some serious super spy stuff going on here. It's what I do. When the action's this dangerous, you need a partner this hot. Woo! Hey, give it a stop. That causes shrinkage. Oh, special forces like Black Rambo. Okay, Blambo. We go down. Step at the entertainer, Lucy Liu. Are you just gonna stand there and watch? Hell yeah! Codename The Cleaner. Super spy. Rated PG-13. Starts January 5th. Blige collection featuring all of Mary's classics plus four new hits, including We Ride. Available now. <laughs> You've always aged gracefully. Why not help your skin age more flawlessly, too? Because uneven discoloration shouldn't compromise your beauty. The new Olay Definitive. Its glucosamine complex penetrates to help reverse the look of past damage, discolorations, and wrinkles, giving skin an even tone for a highly defined, luminous, more flawless look. New Olay Definity. Love the skin you're in. Nobody stops for strangers. Ignoring what you've always been told. You might give me a ride? Yeah, okay. Could be the mistake. Strangers think I'm trustworthy. Aren't you? No. That ends your life. From the producers of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Free! He's framing us. I want you to say four little words. I want to die. The picture with it all for strong bloody violence, terror, and language. Every girl dreams of a fairy tale ending. But what if your prince has no fear, my beloved? Isn't so charming. Happily, never after. Rated PG starts January 5th. BET counts down the top 100 clips of 06 from New York to Miami. Notarized. New Year's Eve at 11 a.m. One of the things that I'm into that's a secret is painting. What you wish you could do in real life you can do at the all-new completely redesigned vhicks.com the all-new vhicks.com roadmap to the automotive world it's the store-wide year-end clearance sale at home furniture and with great prices and no pay interest till 2008 you'll be blown away hurry sale ends december 30th at home furniture don't be left out in the cold. At Home Furniture's year-end clearance, you can pick up a queen-size mattress for the price of a twin, starting at just $1.99. But hurry, once these values are gone, they're gone. Home's year-end clearance ends December 30th. Nas did so much for me as a, you know, child. Just, I didn't know him, but he did so much for me as just being a hip-hop poster child. I think what make, makes Nas' music special is the, is the uh, introspective look at what happens and what takes place in a young man's life and, and uh, as we as we deem it, the hood, urban environments. And it's a very detailed story that pulls in the listener. I just liked his whole style. It's like, he, when I first heard his voice, I was like, I liked the way he just, he wasn't like no regular, you know, rapper. He was like a real rapper from Queens. Kid, I know this is rough doing your bit. When the cops came, you should have slid to my crib. And I always loved all the rappers that came out of Queens, from LL to Run DMC. Shan, all of them that came out of Queens had a different flow about their stuff, and his was just, he was like a young generation with a little bit of all of them in his stuff, and he just was taking it to the next level. My style is just straight out of my head. Sometimes there's no filter between my brain and my mouth, so it just comes out. 
I don't mean to be offensive sometimes, and then other sometimes I do mean to be offensive. So I guess all together, there's just no filter. It goes. It just comes out. That'll be my style. My favorite Nas songs actually would be split between two songs of the original Illmatic era it would be New York State of Mind, and the other one would be the one I produced, Made You Look, um, just because I felt like it was almost like a rebirth of a certain energy in hip hop that, you know, even to this day from it being made four or five years ago. Let's do oh. Soldier survivors stay laced in the best, well dressed, but that's in a white tee looking for white feet. Dog girl who fly and talk so nicely, put her in a coupe, she can feel the nice pain. You can ride through the city, no doubt. Don't say the car's topless. Say the it's out. I always get tripped out over people reciting rhymes. It's a great feeling to see someone saying your thoughts, what you put down, because. You'd be surprised how many people can relate to you. You know we clean clap where you in your mintack. Do the smoke, baseball back. We talk like we bring an 88 crack. They shoot it. Made you look. You a slave to a page of a hot book. Getting big money, play boy, your time's up. Where them gangsters at? Where them dogs at? They shoot it. Being on Def Jam has uh, been a long time coming, man. Def Jam is where I, I first tried to shop my demo at. But, you know, I used to sound like other people, and I wasn't ready yet. And I respect that. That came from Lior and Russell. And I had to go back to the lab and get my thing right. And by the time I did get it right, the first people who, who, who raised an eyebrow to me was at Columbia Records. When I got the word about Def Jam, about me being interested, it was like a light bulb went in my head and it was time to, to show unity, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and man up. So, you know, a Def Jam move was this, just the best thing I could think of. Hey, it's Janae with a BET News Brief. Gerald Ford, America's 38th president, died at his home on Wednesday. Though his presidential term was short, Ford presided over two remarkable events in modern American history. Ford was appointed president in 1974 after the disgraced Richard M. Nixon was forced to resign under the threat of impeachment for his involvement in the Watergate scandal. One of his first presidential duties was granting Nixon a full and unconditional pardon, a move many critics saw as a corrupt bargain. But President Ford's administration also helped the American people by ending the United States' involvement in the Vietnam War. During his tenure, some of the current administration's major players to the forefront of national politics. He chose Donald Rumsfeld for his Secretary of Defense and named Dick Cheney Chief of Staff. Cheney later served as campaign manager for Ford's unsuccessful 1976 bid for office. Gerald Ford's presidency, while brief, helped sow the seeds of today's current conservative movement. Gerald Ford, dead at 93. to go and leave this pretty sight so long farewell i'll be the same adieu 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 to you and you and you goodbye say goodbye to the 2006 models with up to 3,000 cash back or visit kia.com
Introducing Edge, the all-new crossover from Ford. In all the world, there are a select few who, at their very core, are capable of incredible transformation. Under the most grueling conditions, they are shaped, hardened, sharpened, ready to stand among the most elite of all warriors, the few, the proud, the Marines. So I walked into the state farm office to pay my bill. Thing was, I had all state. I'm State Farm Agent Dina Dixon, and this is a true story. The night before, our bit whiz game ran late. I was a little tired. I got him some coffee. We talked to Little State Farm. Dina laid it out for me. With our discounts, he could save money on his car insurance. So I switched to State Farm. Great service, great rates. It's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Come by on purpose or by mistake and see for yourself. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Blood Diamond is one of the best movies of the year. It is a rare film with a huge heart. What if I helped you find your family? Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah! Blood Diamond. Rated R. Now playing. This is our love. Trojan. Pleasure you want. Protection you trust. Expect more from a value meal. Introducing Wendy's Crispy Chicken Deluxe with all white meat, bacon, and cheese, or the Double Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe with fries and a drink. For just $2.99 every day, do what tastes right. You've always aged gracefully. Why not help your skin age more flawlessly, too? Discover new Olay Definity. It penetrates to help reverse the look of discolorations and wrinkles for a luminous, more flawless look. New Olay Definity. time I heard hip hop is dead. I knew people would take offense to it because when you make that statement, um, people think you're making that statement to them. NYC, dirty South, West Coast, Midwest, let's go. People that's um, currently in hip hop is like, you know, but what about me? Like when Karis One said, I am hip hop, he wasn't saying that you are not. That title is, is really like, a, it's a risky title because, you know, rappers are sensitive, so you never know how someone would take a title like that. For me, it didn't affect me like that, you know. I think any type of uh, a statement like that is great because it, it raises the awareness. It wakes everyone up. Hip Hop Is Dead had to be my first single. Not only is it the title track, but it's not the conventional song. I wanted to kind of see if it would get played on the radio. That was my thing, just throw it. Let me see if it would even get played. And I wound up getting more spins and more controversy and more talk than I ever expected from this record. My idea, the impact that it started to have in the street on the corner between different rappers, between radio stations making it their topic of conversation on the air, you know? When I say hip hop is dead, it's to raise the antennas and raise the eyebrows on rappers, DJs, program directors, networks, everybody is to say, you know, do they even know what hip hop is? Do they even care? Is it the joke? Is it, oh, should our people be embarrassed because of hip hop? 
do we really support hip hop? Do we protect it? Do we stand by it? Do we know what it is? Most of us don't. So my, my purpose here is to bring Judgment Day. And, and that's what's happening. This is a single that drove a lot of rappers crazy. It ain't about the dirty South. It ain't about the, it's about empowerment. If we don't own this, it will be dead. Time to wake up, y'all. Come on, turn it up. Hip hop, hip hop is dead. trapped in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't get out if I wanted to. All us rappers are trapped in it. We can't get out. You know what I'm saying? Till we over, till it's dead, till we in the dirt. When I'm 50 years old, I'm gonna have 50 year old fans, 60 year old fans, and 16 year old fans. Yeah. 